Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. This week in the studio, we're working on some Rebel Commandos from Star Wars Legion. That's right, we're still doing the Star Wars Legion series. We've got quite a bit to go. We've still got Inferno Squad, Darth Vader, Emperor, uh, Dark Troopers, Moff Gideon, and, and a handful of others that I'd like to get to and, and do a couple little fun things. Anyway, guys, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And uh, let's get in there and knock that commando out. Oh, the, the, the commando I decided to choose for this week would be the sniper here. Uh, uh, Mon Calamari sniper and I'm gonna do uh, a white skin I saw a guy on Instagram did this this white skin for the for the Mon Calamari and, and it just it, it, it looked terrific so I believe that's the route we're gonna go here I'll look that guy up and give him some kudos and, and give him some props for that color because it just looks really terrific I like that style anyway guys again like and subscribe if you have it I'll catch you in there What I've been doing is using a flat earth to go over the cape and just kind of bring out the highlights a little bit over the top and leave the darker recesses. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, green brown to the earth mix uh, to give it the highlights. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead and do that now. All right, well, I had to take a little break for a second. Uh, my, uh, I dropped the model, and the model broke off the base, and I had to do all that, so I had to re-glue it back on. You can see where I sprayed some of the accelerant to get the glue. It'll, so I've got to let this dry for a minute. You know, hey, you know, stuff happens in the middle of paint. It, it, it happens. Uh, oh, luckily, the paint job was good. Nothing got scuffed up. Uh, everything looks fine. Glued back on. I'm ready to go. Let that dry, and we'll get back to it. We're gonna start. To, we're gonna finish that backpack up. Uh, let's see get some highlights on the backpack uh, and then I will start working on a little bit of the pants I believe once that dries as well all right. got all the brown down that I'm gonna do I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do the knee pad maybe a, a different color green like a I don't know darker or brighter green we'll see but uh, I mean he, he's pretty much done all the base color is pretty much down besides the gun and the knee pad um, after this it's just uh, it's a matter of uh, you know washes and highlights at that point in basing all right so uh, let's uh, let's finish up that knee pad and then let's start highlighting the backpack I decided to uh, paint the shirt, the sleeves there, and the shirt, there's a, there's a little part inside here, and then right here. Uh, I'm gonna go khaki and highlight it with some beige, just, just to give it some color breakup right here for the cape and stuff, right here. So it just doesn't blend in, I don't know, just personal preference. I just kinda wanna break it up a little, a little bit, that's it. Anyway, 
Let's do it. For the knee pads, we're gonna go ahead and go with the, this light US light green. Uh, I really like these uh, these Vallejo World War II colors. They're they're really cool. I like them for a lot of things. They're they're great. Great for a lot of, you know, for military stuff, uh, any military stuff. I uh, love it. Love this light green. Anyway, we're going to do the knee pads in this, and then we'll probably highlight the pants with this as well, and then highlight the knee pads with with some uh, ivory added to this. So, right, let's do it. Enjoy. Subscribe. base colors are down everything's down I even actually highlighted I did I highlighted the leather I highlighted the knee pads I highlighted the cloak with you know I tethered the ends a little bit you know give it a little bit of depth there I did that in the backpack so now we just need to go in and do a, a general wash or pin wash just you know fill in the crevices and bring all those little colors together and then go over and then touch up highlight maybe if I went over and coffee stained something with a wash or something like that I want to fix that and then and then the skin is the last thing the skin seems to be the focal point of this particular model this Mon Calamari um, I, I really enjoy this this uh, this is rubber highlight for the skin I, I usually use a uh, secret weapon uh, rubber um, but this is the secret rubber highlight and it's a perfect skin base for these guys because I didn't want to use the general uh, that orange color or a blue or a green but uh, I really like this and, and I'll, I'll see what I can do with the eyes and, and the highlight uh, but uh, we're almost there we're getting there everything's looking pretty good uh, everything's tying together again that wash is gonna bring that stuff together that in the crevices so uh, let's uh, let's get to it I'm going to go ahead and use this metallic, but I'm not going to use the wolf hair brush with the metallics with this fine tip. I'm just going to use a brush that I picked up at uh, Hobby Lobby. I can't remember the name of it. It's something fine touch, but it's it's really nice. And I'm going to use this metallic. I don't want to uh, do that to these wolf hairs for now because I'm still using these throughout the, in the entire series. And I did use metallic with this brush a little bit, but I just want to take a little better care of these um, but and and I have this might as well use these for the metallics so, anyway Use some Drakenoff uh, Nightshade uh, from Citadel. It's a wash. I'm going to water it down really, really, really thin consistency to uh, get in the crevices here on the skin just to give it a, a faint blue and kind of darken up just some of the crevices there. That's about it. Nothing crazy. Going to water this down a lot.
Hey guys, glad you stopped by. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next week.